What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today we have another sauce review. This is a marinade. If you haven't read the title by now, you'll find out what it is in a minute. It is produced by Gia Brands Incorporated out of Bra uh, Boardman, Ohio. It's produced at Summer Garden Food, a green LEED certified facility. Um, you can find this then. You can find this sauce. Find their website, ghughessugarfree.com. So you know I've reviewed a lot of his stuff before. It's pretty good. And this is G. Hughes Sugar-Free Parm Peppercorn Marinade. Now I'll tell you, there's a lot of goodies in there. Now for a marinade, it almost looks like an Italian dressing without the sugar. Probably isn't going to be too bad. I just hope, and yet it is sucralose that they use to sweeten it. I hope that doesn't overpower the flavor because... Sucralose sometimes overpowers more than sugar will. And I, I hope it doesn't, but we'll see. Uh, it says, G. Hughes is proud to present a completely new addition to his family signature sauces, Parmesan, Parmesan peppercorn marinade. Excuse me. A low-calorie food, always sugar-free, and it is certified gluten-free. Follow him on Instagram and Facebook at G. Hughes Sugar-Free. Again, GUSSugarfree.com. Natural separation may occur. Shake well before opening, refrigerate after opening. Contains bioengineered ingredients if you care. I personally don't, so because if you do, you're probably not going to eat much in this country. But anyway, which means some of this stuff was man made. What a shocker. Imagine that. Anyway, nutrition facts 23 servings per container, 1 tablespoon is 10 calories, so 23 times 10. Do the math, 230 calories for a whole bottle, 12 ounce bottle. One gram of fat, 110 milligrams of sodium per tablespoon, which isn't bad. One gram of carbs, no sugar, no fiber, no protein. Mm, damn. I'm going to get my protein intake with this. Anyway, ingredients are as follows. Water, distilled vinegar, Parmesan cheese, which is pasteurized, part skim milk, cheese culture, salt, and enzymes. Canola and or soybean oil. Modified food starch, salt. Lemon juice concentrate, which adds a trivial amount of sugar. Spices, dried onion, dried garlic, and xanthan gum, natural flavor, sucralose. It contains milk. Well, I mean, it says parm peppercorn on the front. If you don't know that that it has parm cheese in it and it contains a milk product, I don't know what to tell you other than I'm sorry that you're that dumb. No, I'm just kidding. But anyway, that's a joke, people. It's a joke. Anyway, we're going to get this opened up. Completely falling apart here. All right, we're gonna pop the seal, give it a good shaky shake, and check out that consistency. <clears throat> About your normal salad dressing consistency, obviously. Vinegar, water, seasonings, and that. Nothing really out of the ordinary there. But uh, let's give this baby the smell test. That smells really good. You can smell the parm, obviously. Maybe a hint of that lemon juice. I get the lemon juice, some garlic and onion. That smells really good. So we're gonna pour this out on our spoon. We gotta get the fat spoon out for this one. I guess the spoon was kind of made for me since it's a fat spoon. My bottle. Anyway, here's what it looks like on the spoon. And here we go. From G. Hughes, his sugar-free parm peppercorn marinade. Cheers. Taste the cheese. My bottle. There's a lot of cheese in there too. You can just see it. Here's the third ingredient though, so at least he's not skimping on it, but man, it's just good. I will say, the sucralose, sorry, my bottle again. The sucralose 
is really sweet to me. And it's just borderline on being too much. But I do like it. I mean, if it was just a little bit less, I think it would be even better. But it's not bad. I mean, like I said, you can see all the corn cheese in there and that. Spices in there. Oh, that's really good. This would definitely, I could definitely see marinating chicken breast in these. Um, maybe even mix this in with some ground meat. Make like kind of like an Italian flavored burger maybe. This and maybe a little bit of like oregano or something. That's pretty good, man. Like I say, just... I just tone down the sucralosa touch and it would be way better. But it's still good, though. It's just at that, at that cusp of being too much. But it's not bad. I like it. Now, if you like a sweet a sweet uh, dressing, you'll like this. Let me take a one more taste here. See, I like my dressings sometimes on a touch of the sweet side, even my Italians. If I make that stuff at home with a mix, my bottle again. I will add some stevia to it because I like mine a little sweet, but that's pretty good. I'd definitely buy this again. I think I paid three ninety eight at Walmart. So G Hughes sugar free palm peppercorn marinade. Obviously, there's no heat. Flavor, it's called palm peppercorn. I get the palm. I do get the pepper. If I hadn't said that, a little bit of the garlic and the onion. Touch that lemon juice for a sugar free product. I will give it a six and a half out of ten. Now, like I say, when I buy it again, I think I would because I like my stuff a little on the sweeter side, like my Italian dressings. And this is a marinade, so this would be really good on chicken. Like I say, I could see marinating some chicken breast with this. I see maybe mix it in some ground beef, add some oregano, have like an Italian type flavored burger. Maybe that's a crazy idea, but eh, that's what I that's what I would do. But, uh, but yeah, not bad. So, yeah, I give it a six and a half on flavor. I would buy it again. I, I, I really do like this. Pretty good. Again, G. Hughes Sugar Free Palm Peppercorn Marinade. Yeah. 12 month bottle for $3.98. That's a big range. It's not bad at all. I'd definitely buy that again. But anyway, with that said, hope you enjoyed this review. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do you ever watch these videos? I really don't care. Sorry for the wind if it's messing up the audio. And see you next time.